Hi, Gary Stearman, here to talk about something that's very important, both to Bob Ulrich and myself. We're here, Bob, to talk about the first annual Blessed Hope Prophecy Forum. We are, and it's an exciting time uh, in the days ahead. In fact, you use the words, the final countdown. Yeah. Now, Gary and I have kind of low-keyed this conference. Uh, we announced it, uh, boy, it seems like forever ago, and we're now at the point where we're five and a half months away uh, from a big event, October 13th through 15th in Norman, Oklahoma, right in the middle of the United States. And it's called the Blessed Hope Prophecy Forum for a good reason. You know, our motto, if you will, is three W's. Watching, waiting, witnessing. This is going to be a very unusual prophecy forum <clears throat> because we're going to have explorers, people who are skilled in archaeology, academics, uh, people who study the Bible in a very deep way. We're going to have uh, speakers who passionately defend the blessed hope. Bob, we have several groups of speakers assembled all in one place. I don't think they've ever come together like this before. Well, I've used the word before, this is not your father's prophecy conference. Uh, a conference that we put on is quite unusual, let's leave it at that. 33 speakers from all walks of life. Now, when have you ever heard of a prophecy conference that has 33 different speakers? Uh, many of the biggest names in the world of Bible prophecy, names that are recognizable to pretty much everyone who lives in the world we live in. But we have a big hotel, uh, the Embassy Suites Hotel in Norman, Oklahoma, capable of seating 2,000 people. Actually it's probably a little more than that if we really wanted to push the fire code. But you know we've low-keyed the conference. We're already approaching 1,000 people registered for this event. So we're almost halfway home with almost six months to go and we've only just begun. The final countdown begins actually today and uh, we're excited about the number of people that are going to join us in Norman. And Bob, before we talk about our speakers, I just want to say that this Prophecy Conference is coming at a time unprecedented, I think, in human history. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of drama out there in the world scene. A lot of events that, that students of Bible prophecy, frankly, are looking at these and saying, wow, we are living in the time. And I believe that uh, the confluence of the times with the, with the Blessed Hope Prophecy Conference is perfect that we're bringing together uh, within this environment people who can speak to what's happening, uh, people with expertise in the, in the news world. For example, Bill Koenig is going to be here and he's a man who keeps his finger on the pulse of global news <clears throat> and yet he's a very powerful and persuasive teacher of Bible prophecy. You know if you look at uh, Prophecy Watchers and what our ministry is really all about we are about defending the blessed hope. Uh, we're in a battle defending it like never before. Uh, you know, there's groups of people out there who believe the church is going to go through the tribulation right. and face the wrath of God. Other people who believe we're going to go through part of the tribulation and just see some of that persecution. Of course, we have the other perspective. We believe the church is going to be raptured before the wrath of God is released on the world. And uh, you know that's controversial these days, as hard as that is to believe. That's a doctrine we're sticking to. Uh, we're here to defend Israel. Uh, so many of the speakers who are going to be at this event are strong supporters of the state of Israel. And that's going to be one of the main themes of the event. Uh, we do have the archaeologists. We do have, of course, some of the fringe people who are out there exploring UFOs, mm -hmm. exploring the Nephilim, yeah. exploring the Tower of Babel different things that people find really, really fascinating and exciting. So it's going to be a conference with a little bit of something for everybody. And I hope you'll join us. You know, <clears throat> Dr. Thomas Ice and uh, Dr. Andy Woods, and we, we call them Tommy and Andy, by the way, these men are serious students of the Word. And they're both strong defenders of the rapture of the church. And in the light of what you were just talking about, there's a lot of controversy in that area. And I don't think we need to be shy in, in standing up for what we actually believe, Bob, and I think that's, that's a big part of why we're putting on this conference. Well, a few minutes ago you described our conference as bringing a message of hope to the world. Yeah. You know, it's not gloom and doom. You know, we don't use the word Armageddon a lot. We're not going to be here to see it. We're here to bring you the hope that Jesus Christ is going to return, and we believe that day is coming very, very soon. We do indeed. You know, Let's talk about another thing. 
uh, when it comes to Bible prophecy, we have to do it with conviction. Uh, that is to say, we are not uh, teaching Bible prophecy because it's an interesting novelty. We are uh, basing uh, what we do here at Prophecy Watchers on firmly held uh, and strong beliefs uh, about the moving of the Holy Spirit in these last days. Uh, the, the message of salvation in the context of Bible prophecy. <clears throat> and we feel that this is a very important time to get this message out there. And we've brought together people uh, that are, are absolutely wonderful speakers and I think that you're going to leave this conference with a, with a spiritual uh, level of excitement and enthusiasm that, that you've never had before. Amen. You know, we don't have the time to list every single speaker who's going to be at the event. Uh, suffice it to say that with 33 speakers there, you're going to hear someone that you're really going to come to enjoy and appreciate. You know, breaking down the conference into, into just the subjects, you know, archaeology has become a really important mm -hmm. part of proving the Bible. Uh, Tim Alberino is going to be with us yes. this year. Uh, fresh off his visit to Sardinia, the things he's seen on the island of Sardinia after talking to Tim in private are pretty spectacular. Uh, Tim Mahoney, you know, who produced the film Patterns of Evidence, is going to be with us. Brent Miller and his son, Brent Jr., who just produced the film The Coming Convergence, are going to be with us. So this is going to be an exciting lineup of people you know, virtually every one of these speakers is a headliner somewhere else. Absolutely. People like Ron Rhodes, gifted speaker and writer. I don't know how many books he's published, but a lot. And they're all wonderful books. Uh, Gary Fraser. Hey, how about Billy Crone? Billy, he's an old-fashioned, I mean, exciting preacher. And, and I'm sure he'll have a great message. And then three longtime friends, L.A. Marzoli, Randall Price, Jonathan Kahn, uh, the name is just get better and better. I mean, this is a group of fabulous speakers. And when you come and hear them in person, I know you're going to really appreciate what they have to say. And the key words there are hear them in person. You know, you stop and think about why would anyone want to go to a prophecy conference? Well, to be in a hotel with 2,000 excited people celebrating the blessed hope, the soon return of our Lord, uh, there's no environment and atmosphere that I'd rather be in. Uh, it's a whirlwind of activity. Uh, we're going to be conducting Hebrew lessons. By the time you leave this conference, you will have the opportunity to actually be not fluent, but proficient in the Hebrew language, thanks to Danny ben yeah. you know, a Hebrew professor. Now I'm going to mention four names, and of course I know exactly what you're going to say after I do this. Derek and Sharon Gilbert, Josh Peck, and Tom Horn. Four names. Tom Horn? Tom Horn. Tom Horn is speaking at our conference. <laughs> Actually, Tom Horn is the co-sponsor of the conference with Skywatch TV, and the whole Skywatch crowd is going to be there with us. And if you've never met Tom in person and never got to shake his hand, tell you how much, uh, tell him how much you appreciate all the great work he's doing. You're going to get to meet Tom face to face at Absolutely. the event. Absolutely. And Derek and Sharon uh, always have unique messages that are scaled to explain a lot of the phenomena that are occurring in our days in, in terms of science and technology. Uh, their research is fabulous. Josh Peck writes about, shall we say, the outer edge of prophetic interpretation. He, he writes about uh, uh, physics. He writes about uh, uh, the genetic manipulatory uh, research that's going on today that's such a threat to humanity. He writes Let's put it this way, on the outer edge. And if, you, if you're interested in that sort of thing, Josh is your man. And if you want to get into longtime students of Bible prophecy, David Hawking is going to be with us. Terry James from Rapture Ready is going to be with us. Uh, I feel guilty not mentioning all the names of all these people because every one of them deserve you know, a bio of their own on the program. But once again, suffice it to say that with 33 speakers, you're going to hear yeah. the best of the best uh, at our event. It's October 13th through 15th, 2017. It's being held at the Embassy Suites, a beautiful, luxurious hotel in Norman, Oklahoma. You're going to be amazed when you actually see what Oklahoma has to offer. And you know, people are coming from all over the world, Gary. They're coming from Singapore. They're coming from the UK. Uh, I had the list of people who were registered the other day, and I was just looking, thinking to myself, who would come to a prophecy conference all the way from Australia? Can you imagine the cost of coming over? But the opportunity to gather 
with a big crowd like this and hear these kinds of speakers is a once in a lifetime opportunity for many people. And Bob, let's talk about the venue. It's a beautiful meeting place, a lot of room. What I love about this <clears throat> is that between presentations, uh, our visitors are going to get a chance to circulate, to see the books and presentations that our various guests bring with them, to actually uh, get autographs if you want to. You can pick up a copy of a book and, and say to the author, hey, would you please autograph this for me? And do you give autographs? I do. <laughs> well, there's reason enough for come to come to the event. Gary Stearman, you're going to get to meet him in person, get a copy of his book, Time Travelers of the Bible, and actually get it signed by Gary. How about that? But I was thinking of other people. I know you <clears> much <were. laughs> more important than myself. And, and you know, that's like half the fun of one of these conferences is meeting, finally getting to meet and greet and, and, and directly question an author. Like, I read your book and I'm really wondering why you said such and such a thing. You know, and I, I think that's a wonderful opportunity. And it's not that unusual to see some of the speakers sitting in the hotel's restaurant with some of the guests. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, you can register for the event at prophecywatchers.com or you can call our ministry. The number's up on the screen. And uh, I think you're going to discover that over this three-day period, it's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, you're going to have an opportunity to grow in your faith, to understand the Bible at a whole new level, to hear about the blessed hope. I mean, the hope of the Lord Jesus' return in the very, very near future. Face-to-face uh, -face from some of the finest prophetic teachers in the world. A lot of good friends are going to be here. Uh, Tom Hughes uh, coming to us from 412 Church in California. He'll have a great message. And what can I say? You're just going to get a chance to exchange ideas uh, with people of like mind because we do believe in the pre-tribulation rapture. We're not fanatical about it. We're just firm. We believe the Bible teaches that and that's what we're led to teach. And we believe in uh, the, the idea of the premillennial theology, uh, pre-tribulational theology. We're dispensationalists and we're not ashamed of that fact. We believe that we live in the dispensation of the church, which could come to a close very shortly given uh, the way things are happening in the world today. So we're all very keyed up, very excited about this presentation. Bob, any last uh, thoughts? Well, we were talking just briefly a little while ago about where we stand in the world today. I mean, all the incredible yeah. threats going on, the threats of nuclear war, the threats of financial collapse, uh, things going on in Europe, things going on in Israel, talks of a peace treaty in the Middle East. Where are we going to be five and a half months from now? Bob, only the Lord knows. And I have to say, you know, we're not looking for a sign. We're looking for the Lord to return from heaven in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, without the least warning. What did you say? <laughs> you, I, there you go. You're, it's right on your cup. Well, I'm looking at your cup and it says looking for the blessed it hope. Does, by the way. Imagine yeah. that. How did that happen, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Gary, it's good spending time with you again. Indeed it is. And we're excited about the upcoming conference. Uh, Bob, October 13th through 15th. 2017. The weather's always great in Oklahoma. Indian October. summer. Ah, yeah. It's going to be wonderful. And we're looking for you to come and visit with us. Uh, I would love to chat with any and, and or all of you and look forward to that. Bob, it's going to be great. A thousand people are already registered. We've got room for another thousand more. I hope you get registered today. Hey, keep watching, everybody. We are. Thanks for joining us on Prophecy Watchers. You can find us on the web at prophecywatchers.com where you can sign up for our free email newsletter or follow us at facebook.com slash prophecywatchers. In the meantime, keep watching everybody and we'll see you soon.